Hello everybody, I hope you're going well. Today I will show you a very important mating idea and you have to keep in mind that attacking in chess is just a strategical theme. If you can attack, it means that strategically speaking you do have something or an argument to put your opponent under a lot of pressure. So the idea that I want to show you isn't that difficult, but the reason why you can easily miss that is because it isn't something, you know, natural. So in the game that I will show you, the game doesn't really matter. Black will at some point reach a position like that. Black will have a bishop on e7, the king on e8, and black will actually just castle like that. But later on in the game, you know, white will actually just blunder a piece, and you know, and everything is just lost, and black will go, go super duper tactical in order to attack all the pieces at the same time, so this is, you know, just a tactical theme. But what you have to keep in mind is just that black is just winning. That isn't the point that I want to make. The point that I want to make is that, okay, you see that the game was actually, you know, a nightmare. Um, the thing that I want to show you is actually a little bit later on. Um, and this is actually what we, what we can call a mating net. In that position, of course, black can just take all the pawns and then, you know, go for another queen and the game is won. But this, the idea that black will use is actually to just trap the king so that the mating attack would just be devastating. Here is a good example. Queen f2. Notice that now the queen is cutting the king off, which means that if the king tries to run away, it will be, you know, it will cost one more move to go away because the king will have to go on g4. And if the queen wasn't guarding the g3 square, the king would need one and two moves to run away. And of course, the position is completely winning, but it isn't the whole idea. What I want to show you is just this mating idea. Okay, black doesn't move, g6, and now the idea is just to go for a brutal checkmate. And let's say that now white has tried a move like uh, king, king there, this, this. If we really want to close the king, because after king g7 to play rook h8 checkmate, the king will be able to run away, we can at the very least just go f5, you know, just cutting the king forever. Uh, and now a move will be played, and now this is just checkmate. Easy peasy checkmate. Uh, in the game, c5 was played first, which leads to a very brutal checkmate. And now if king h2, this, king there again. Ch this is this is completely winning, you know, this is checkmate. Uh, okay, of course, in, in, in one more move. But what I want to show you is, of course, that you have to king the... You have to cut the king off before going for checkmates. Because when you cut the king off, it will be a checkmate no matter what happens. If you do not cut the king off, you will give checks, 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 and it won't change anything. Hopefully you enjoyed the theme. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. See you in the future. Take care.